Welcome to our lecture online. When we're dealing with Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits, we need to be careful to notice whether or not there is a load impedance or no load impedance. In the previous example and before, we showed you a circuit that looks like this. This is the Thevenin equivalent circuit, which has a voltage source called the Thevenin source, and we have a Thevenin impedance, and they're in series with one another. But sometimes the circuit includes a load across the terminals from A to B. Now, if that's the case, in order to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit, you need to remove the load first. Remove the load, then you realize that the voltage from A to B, as measured or as calculated on the original circuit, will equal the Thevenin voltage, and you already know how to find the Thevenin impedance. You remove the sources, the voltage source becomes a short circuit, the current source becomes an open circuit, and then you calculate the impedance across the terminals from A to B again with no source, nothing connected between A and B. But if there is a load, then you need to take that into account. So you first get the equivalent Thevenin circuit, you find the voltage, uh, Thevenin voltage, you find the Thevenin impedance when you remove the load, and then you attach the load. So what happens now? Well, the load is going to affect the rest of the circuit. Notice, when you add the load, you now calculate the current through the circuit, and notice the current will be the Thevenin voltage divided by the total impedance. The Thevenin impedance plus the load impedance con uh, combined. And then to find the voltage from A to B with the load connected, that will be the voltage across the load, notice you multiply the current times the impedance of the load. Now the current is calculated here, which is the Thevenin voltage divided by the total impedance of the Thevenin impedance plus the load impedance, and then you multiply that times the load impedance to find the voltage across the load. Essentially, the voltage across the load from A to B will be the Thevenin voltage times this equation or this component right here, not equation but component, which essentially is a voltage divider. It's the portion of the of the volt of the source that's dropped across the load as compared to the voltage that's dropped across both of the impedances. Essentially, you can say that it's the fraction of the voltage of the source that's dropped across the load as compared to dropped across both of the impedances combined. So that's an important aspect to remember because sometimes we get confused when there's a load resistor or load impedance and when there's no load impedance. And what does that mean as far as the Thevenin equivalent circuit? Again, the equivalent circuit is this circuit without the load. Then when there's a load attached, make sure you first calculate the Thevenin impedance and the Thevenin voltage without the load. And then to find out how the circuit reacts with the load resistor in there, make sure you, you use those equations right there. And that is how it's done.